Unit 1. Meeting people. Listening task 1. How about you? Exercise A. Listen. People are meeting at a party for the first time. What do they ask? Circle the correct answers. Kent and Lisa. 1. This is a good party, and the music's great. I really like jazz. How about you? Jazz is okay, but it's not my favorite. 2. Oh, yeah? Well, what kind of music do you like? Well, rock's my favorite, but I like all kinds of music. 3. By the way, my name's Kent Adams. I don't think we've met. What's your name? I'm Lisa. Lisa James. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. One. This is a good party, and the music's great. I really like jazz. How about you? Jazz is okay, but it's not my favorite. Two. Oh, yeah? Well, what kind of music do you like? Well, rock's my favorite, but I like all kinds of music. Three. By the way, my name's Kent Adams. I don't think we've met. What's your name? I'm Lisa. Lisa James. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Lisa and Carlos. One. This is a really nice party. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. By the way, my name's Lisa. Nice to meet you, Lisa. I'm Carlos. So, Carlos, are you a student? Yes, I am. I'm studying English here. Two. How about you, Lisa? What do you do? I'm a student, too. I'm studying art. Three. This is a great place to study. Do you like living here? Oh, yes, I do. I love it. I'm from a small town, so I really like living in a city. Four. Oh, really? Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Oh, I visited Spain on a school trip once. What a beautiful country. One. This is a really nice party. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. By the way, my name's Lisa. Nice to meet you, Lisa. I'm Carlos. So, Carlos, are you a student? Yes, I am. I'm studying English here. Two. How about you, Lisa? What do you do? I'm a student, too. I'm studying art. Three. This is a great place to study. Do you like living here? Oh, yes, I do. I love it. I'm from a small town, so I really like living in a city. Four. Oh, really? Where are you from? I'm from Spain. Oh, I visited Spain on a school trip once. What a beautiful country.
Exercise B. Listen. Imagine you are talking to Lisa. What is your part of this conversation? Check your answers. 1. This party is a lot of fun. I'm having a great time. How about you? 2. By the way, I don't think we've met. My name's Lisa. Lisa James. What's your name? 3. I'm studying art here. I'm from Vancouver. How about you? Where are you from? 4. Oh, really? That's cool. So what do you do? Do you work or are you a student? 5. Oh, just like me. Do you like living here? 6. Well, I guess the band is getting ready to play again. I really like their music. How about you? Do you like it? One. This party is a lot of fun. I'm having a great time. How about you? Two. By the way, I don't think we've met. My name's Lisa. Lisa James. What's your name? Three. I'm studying art here. I'm from Vancouver. How about you? Where are you from? Four. Oh, really? That's cool. So what do you do? Do you work or are you a student? Five. Oh, just like me. Do you like living here? Six. Well, I guess the band is getting ready to play again. I really like their music. How about you? Do you like it? Listening Task 2. Around the World. Exercise A. Listen. There are many ways to greet people around the world. Match each greeting with two places. 1. A bow. Bowing is the traditional way of greeting in Northeast Asian countries like Japan and Korea. This picture, for example, shows how Japanese women bow. In Japan, when you bow, you don't look directly at the other person's eyes. In both Japan and Korea, people bow to show respect. 2. A hug. When good friends meet in Russia, they often hug each other. This is true for both men and women. But Russia isn't the only place where friends hug. In Brazil, for example, friends also hug each other when they greet. In Brazil, a hug is called abraço. When you hug someone, you usually give the person a light kiss on the cheek, too. 3. The Salaam the salam is a greeting from the Middle East and is used in Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and other Arab countries. It is most popular with older people. To give a salam, first touch your heart, then your forehead, then move your hand up away from your head. When people use this greeting, they say, Peace be with you. 4. The Namaste, or Why. 
People in India and Thailand use a different kind of greeting. It is called the Namaste in India, and in Thailand it is called the Y. To do the Y, you put your hands together high in front of your chest and you bow slightly. It is a way of greeting. It also means thank you and I'm sorry. Listen again. Are the statements true or false? Check the correct answers. 1. A bow. Bowing is the traditional way of greeting in Northeast Asian countries like Japan and Korea. This picture, for example, shows how Japanese women bow. In Japan, when you bow, you don't look directly at the other person's eyes. In both Japan and Korea, people bow to show respect. 2. A hug. When good friends meet in Russia, they often hug each other. This is true for both men and women. But Russia isn't the only place where friends hug. In Brazil, for example, friends also hug each other when they greet. In Brazil, a hug is called abraço. When you hug someone, you usually give the person a light kiss on the cheek, too. 3. The Salaam The Salaam is a greeting from the Middle East and is used in Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and other Arab countries. It is most popular with older people. To give a Salaam, first touch your heart, then your forehead, then move your hand up away from your head. When people use this greeting, they say, Peace be with you. 4. The Namaste, or Why People in India and Thailand use a different kind of greeting. It is called the Namaste in India, and in Thailand it is called the Why. To do the Why, you put your hands together high in front of your chest and you bow slightly. It is a way of greeting. It also means thank you and I'm sorry. 1. A bow. Bowing is the traditional way of greeting in Northeast Asian countries like Japan and Korea. This picture, for example, shows how Japanese women bow. In Japan, when you bow, you don't look directly at the other person's eyes. In both Japan and Korea, People bow to show respect. 2. A hug When good friends meet in Russia, they often hug each other. This is true for both men and women. But Russia isn't the only place where friends hug. In Brazil, for example, friends also hug each other when they greet. In Brazil, a hug is called abraço. When you hug someone, you usually give the person a light kiss on the cheek, too. 3. The Salaam The Salaam is a greeting from the Middle East and is used in Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and other Arab countries. It is most popular with older people. To give a Salaam, first touch your heart, then your forehead. Then move your hand up away from your head. When people use this greeting, they say, Peace be with you. 4. The Namaste, or Why People in India and Thailand use a different kind of greeting. It is called the Namaste in India, and in Thailand it is called the Why. To do the Why, you put your hands together high in front of your chest and you bow slightly. It is a way of greeting. It also means thank you and I'm sorry.